So after the fourth try, I got the Antutu benchmark to run to completion, and the first three times it actually bombed out um, and crashed on the first uh, on the um, first tries. So you you can see those are the scores, and I'm gonna run it again here just to show you. And I was not surprised, once again, that it bombed out because this is not the greatest um, multitasking tablet because it is a dual core compared to even my Nexus 7 2012 version, which is a fairly old model, and at least that is quad core. Um, but the Antutu benchmark for this Dell Venue 3840 Android version, which came out in 2014, actually has double the uh, score in this benchmark which was 34,000 as you saw before uh, but my Nexus 2012 version only has uh, 17,000 as the score and a lot of the benchmarks were lower individual scores in uh, different areas uh, but in real world usage this is actually a lot slower uh, mainly because of dual core and um, how it has to multitask, uh, not necessarily between the open applications that you have, but also the background services that are running, uh, services such as notifications and uh, just things that sort of have to be detected, such as uh, you know your weather or your email notifications. Um, and every application has its own notification, so uh, that could clog up a lot of the uh, processing time of the tablet uh, and not having it focus on basically the the uh, application that is currently running. So you, you will find a lot of lag in this tablet. Um, and the lag lots of times is severe um, to the point where I think a lot of people find it unusable. So some of the lag times are you know, 30 seconds trying to just uh, go from your app to your la uh, to your um, desktop. And um, that's why you see so many reviews on Amazon, which just give it, you know, two and a half stars or uh, even less. Which is a shame because, as you can see, the resolution here of the screen is great. It's uh, 1220 by uh, 1200, which is greater than 1080p. And I've actually used Miracast on this where I'm projecting wirelessly the video and the sound to my HD TV and it works very smooth um, surprisingly smooth in fact uh, where uh, it, it definitely is a great benefit of this tablet in that it could do Miracast in full HD and have it work so smoothly uh, so one of the good things about this tablet is it is able to play movies in a very smooth kind of uh, uh, very smooth and very clear without any jittering uh, but on, but it depends on uh, what website it, it does fairly well in you YouTube and even in video files um, but what what concerns me a little bit is that Chrome itself is very slow in this so a lot of the more intensive sort of websites you're not able to navigate so this did finish to completion so let me just show you once again so the score here was uh, 33,000 you could see that 33,000 and that compares to uh, some of these other apps and once again, as I mentioned, the Nexus 7 2012 version is only 17,000. And here are some details. So some of the details of the scores. And if I compare it, for example, to, say, the Nexus... Nexus 6 here. The Nexus 6 is about 
50,000. So as you can see that that's the score and if I look at the rankings now I could compare it so if I compare it to Nexus 6 there you go that's the comparison here So here's a few comparisons and to the LG G4. Some comparisons of the score here. But that's really it. Um, so stay tuned to my other videos where I'm going to compare it side by side with the Nexus 7. And I'll also demo some real world instances where this tablet just freezes. And um, alright, thank you for watching.